good evening. The family of Charlie Armstrong have been waiting almost three decades to find out what happened to him. Now the discovery of human remains in a bog in County Monaghan could end their torment. The 57-year-old father of five went missing on his way to Mass in Cross Maglen in August 1981. He's one of the disappeared 16 people believed to have been abducted and murdered by Republican paramilitaries during the Troubles. Of those 16, the bodies of just seven have been recovered. Our Armagh district journalist Gordon Adair has been to the scene of the latest discovery. 30 years ago, somebody murdered Charlie Armstrong, a quiet, inoffensive family man. And it now seems they then dumped his body in this bog, presumably thinking it would never be found and that all those who knew the truth would take it with them to their own graves. An anonymous letter in 2008 began a process that would change all that. For almost three decades, this landscape of bleak beauty has held a dark secret. Now at last, it seems, it has given up that secret, or at least part of it. The final part has yet to be revealed, with the confirmation that this is, indeed, the body of Charlie Armstrong. But all the indications are that it is. And for the Armstrong family, the hopes now are of a Christian burial, a grave to visit, and an end to a long and painful chapter in their lives. When I spoke to Mr Armstrong's widow, Kathleen, this morning, there were representatives from the Commission for the Location of Victims' Remains in her home, talking her through the events of the past few days. Understandably emotional, she paid tribute to those members of the Commission who she said had worked tirelessly over the years and been a great support to her family. But she said today her overwhelming emotions were relief and sadness. The family have always believed Charlie was murdered by the IRA. That's something the IRA, over the years, has consistently denied. I myself see no reason, if, if they did kill him, why they wouldn't admit it. They have admitted killing these other people who were secretly uh, buried. Who else does? You know, and if you look at the bodies of other people who were disappeared, who were found in the locality, in that proximity, you know, it's an open secret what happened. The problem is that um, nobody's prepared to see it. Those other victims were Brian McKinney and John McClory. They too were among the disappeared and the IRA has admitted it did kill them. In 1999 their bodies were found just a few hundred yards away. Too much of a coincidence, say those who believe the IRA was responsible for all three deaths. Having completed this part of their task, the next step for the Commission is to formally identify the remains. The intention is that the remains should be removed uh, today, brought to Dublin, and for further uh, examination, the state pathologist on that has to uh, examine them, of course, and we'll take it from there then with the DNA uh, aspects. For the Commission, that will mark an ending, and hopefully for the Armstrong family, a new beginning. Gordon Adair, BBC Newsline, Cross McLean. The relatives of other victims whose bodies haven't been found say the latest discovery has raised hopes that their loved ones will be found. In Cross Glen, people have been offering support to Charlie Armstrong's family, as Chris Page reports. A grave has been waiting for Charlie Armstrong in the cemetery at the parish church in Cross Glen. Through years of despair, his family always held out hope they'd see him buried back in his hometown. It's now 29 years since Charlie Armstrong disappeared while on his way to Mass. What happened to him has served as a painful reminder of the trauma people in this area had to endure during the Troubles. But now, there's hope that the news of the last 24 hours might bring some closure. The man in charge of the local newspaper says Charlie Armstrong's story has been very much on the minds of people here for nearly three decades. Well, there's a great sense of relief in the community uh, for all the Armstrong family that finally, after almost three decades, this thing can be brought to closure and that the Armstrong family can give the father a Christian burial. And the whole community will be very supportive of the Armstrongs in this difficult and very emotional time. If the remains do prove to be Charlie Armstrongs, he'll be the seventh of the disappeared to be found. The Commission for the Location of Victims' Remains has carried out searches, mainly in boglands on the southern side of the border, for 11 years. The bodies of nine people remain missing, including that of Seamus Ruddy. He was abducted by the INLA in France in 1985. His sisters have been in touch with the Armstrong family today. When you've been down that road yourself, 
you know what the disappointment is and he had been disappointed a couple of times so in that respect you know I know it's not um, it's good for them you know and then they be able to breathe now which is most important and it says I'm delighted but I'm also very sad because it means that the Armstrong family now have to uh, go through uh, a wake and yeah. a burial. But the burial is the most important thing, which I know. And in a sense, they will be happy that he's been found, but they'll be very, very sad. Kieran McGraw's brother Brendan was murdered by the IRA in 1978. His remains have never been found. It's great that there's one or, one or two of the bodies have been found recently, but it also shows that you know the system in place can help get the bodies back. Um, and that, again, that's as important that people come forward with any snippet of information. That's the appeal going out from the families of the disappeared, hoping they'll all eventually be able to bury their loved ones. Now it's thought Charlie Armstrong's being found.